This flashcard follows on from the previous flashcard, so make sure you understand what was going on in the previous flashcard uh, before trying this. And it, it really uh, it probably was mentioned there anyway. So when this skydiver has just jumped out of the, let's say they jump off a uh, uh, helicopter so that uh, there's no immediate sort of air resistance and all they have is their weight force which is acting downwards that's their weight force and so what we have to do here is describe the motion of this skydiver at each stage of her jump so here is an unbalanced force that means there's a resultant force a resultant force and if there is a resultant force we have acceleration, acceleration downwards. Okay, so it's really important that we're specific in physics. That's supposed to be an E, by the way. Acceleration. Specific about the motion. We don't just say, oh, she's moving down. We say she's accelerating. When she reaches the terminal velocity, that means that the weight force down is now balanced by an equal and opposite drag force upwards. There is no resultant force now. There's no winning force. And so therefore, if there is no resultant, no resultant, we are going at a constant speed. Constant speed. So there's our second answer. Then the, para the uh, parachute is deployed. And there's a suddenly a great big surface area that all these air molecules bash into. So we have a great big upwards drag force. And the downwards weight is still the same, hasn't lost any weight. And as a result, we have an upwards resultant force. We have a resultant force, a winning force upwards. And so well, that doesn't mean that the, the skydiver suddenly moves upwards because they are falling down very, very quickly. But what it does mean is that because of this upwards winning force, they will be slowed down. In other words, decelerated. Deceleration. And that's really important. This is what a lot of people get wrong. They think that the skydiver suddenly zooms upwards. They don't. It's usually the cameraman that's falling alongside of them doesn't deploy their parachute. And they just it just appears that the skydiver zooms upwards but they decelerate they slow down until now the weight is still the same until the drag force is equal to the weight down they're moving much slower and so here is a constant speed there's no resultant force constant speed because the forces are balanced and it's it's slower than the first it's slower than the first terminal velocity. So it's a second terminal velocity, but it is slower because we've got a much bigger surface area and uh, we don't have to move as fast in order to match the weight, downwards weight force. So there we are. Those are our descriptions of motion. They accelerate, constant speed, deceleration, and then a constant speed once again, but at a slower speed.